Hey, this is Matt from Desquant. Today is Tuesday, March 30, 2021, and we are approaching the end of the month. So tomorrow will be the last trading day of the month. Today is the second to last trading day of the month. So that's what we're going to look at today is just a seasonality based date of the second to last trading day of the month. So let me set this up and discover and we'll see what has happened in a similar environment with a similar open to what we have today. So I've selected all four instruments. We're going to be looking at entering the market long at the open, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. The exit is set to the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now, currently, the markets are trading down a little bit. So I'm going to go into the opening filters and select gap down from the gap direction. I will tell you for this study, the gap direction does matter. Um, we are trading lower right now, and that does make a difference on the results. So I've got that selected here. Next, I'm going to go into the indicator section, put us in a similar market environment. We are in a bullish market environment above a 10, above a 200 day simple moving average. And then lastly, I'm going to hop into the calendar library and I'm going to say that it is the day before the last day of the month. So that comes from our unique days section and it's also available in our active today section. So if I come here, click on the last one, uh, day before last day of the month, that is added to the test. It comes from right here. And now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results of going long at the open and exiting at the close of regular trading hours. When you gap down the day before the last trading day of the month, this is taking place above a 10 and above a 200 day simple moving average. Historically, the S&P has 58 samples dating back to 2003. The NASDAQ has 57 samples, the Dow 51 samples, the Russell 58. And if we look at win rates here, you'll see three of the four are fairly favored with the S&P coming in at 67%, the NASDAQ 70%, the Dow 63%, and the Russell more neutral at 53%. So three of the four have fairly strong win rates historically on this day. When we look at average win and average loss, the average loss is larger than the average win on the S&P. And that is also true uh, for the NASDAQ and for the Dow. For the Russell, it's fairly similar in size. So the Russell has a neutral win rate and the average win and average loss are pretty similar in size, whereas the other instruments have favorable win rates, but the average loss is a little bit larger than the average win. So historically speaking, three of the four have favored green daily candlesticks on this day, uh, dating back to 2003, when in a similar market environment. So hopefully you found this helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.